We have long been accustomed to the other phrase, the good old times. Let us change it. There were bad old times of the French Revolution, when blood flowed like water and the greatest murderer was the best fellow. There were worse old times before the French Revolution, times of tyranny and royal caprice and unutterable debauchery in high places, times that could only be purified as by fire. There were the bad old times of the Middle Ages in Europe, when children were allowed to have their feelings wrought up so that they would enlist by the 10,000 in a hopeless crusade against the Muslims, only to die by the 10,000. There were the bad old times in England, when it was a perfectly respectable thing for a gentleman to get drunk once in a while, and when no one was read out of good society because he was a gambler, and when women labored half-naked in the coal mines, worse treated than the donkeys themselves. There were the times when only the few could obtain an education, and the masses could scarcely hope to get above the conditions of their fathers. There were the bad old times in our own land, when there was only one professing Christian to every fourteen of the population, instead of one in five as at present, when our rulers were pronounced atheists and our scholars were pronounced skeptics. There were the bad old times of slavery and disunion and civil war and carpetbaggism. There were the bad old times when not one voice, even of one crying in the wilderness, was raised against the curse of rum selling, when some ministers of the gospel themselves tippled at each house on their round of pastoral coals, and the members of the flock were not slow to follow their example. Let us thank God that the bad old times have gone never to return, as we hope. The new times are not as good as those that are coming, but they are better than the past, and the eastern sky is brightening.